Brothers Green, we get asked a lot, what are your favorite sauces and can you do videos? So today you're in luck, my friends, because we decided to do 10 of our favorite sauces of all time. And we have built our cuisine around sauces Ooh. because a lot of times we're not working with really high quality ingredients or whatever it is, a sauce can save your ass. You can dry out a chicken breast, zip a little sauce on it and you're good to go. So we're gonna give you basically all of our favorite, all 10 sauces that we really have built a lot of our food around. Best part, so simple. All these take minutes so to simple. make and gloriously delicious. First up, the spicy ketchup. Or you see this in supermarkets now. I think they stole the idea from us. What would you say? I don't know if they took it from us, but they took it from somewhere. All right, well, well now it's in supermarkets <laughs> and we were doing it first. It's so easy. All you have to do is take a ketchup bottle and as long as there's some ketchup out of it, you can start adding a hot sauce. I added sriracha sauce because it's my favorite flavor, but feel free to add any hot sauce you want. And you're just looking for a good spicy ratio. You want that thing nice and tangy, but it's really up to you. So add in your hot sauce, shake it up, and you've just taken plain old ketchup to a spicy level. It's gonna be better on everything, on your fries, on your burger. I'll oh, take the spiciness. On it. Oh my God. Cheese steaks are amazing. Eggs are great. Next up is, this is a homemade mayo. It's a zesty chipotle mayo. Homemade mayo is so freaking easy. All you need to do is take eggs. I took two eggs in this case, and I add to the eggs slowly while it's blending up in a processor, just some oil. What you're doing is you're emulsifying it. You're kind of turning it from this liquidy egg stuff to this thick sauce. And keep going, because it's yeah. gonna be Do like, Do not oh, be it's... scared. Do not be scared at this point. Many times I've bailed out, oh, my mayo's not thick. Just keep adding oil and it will get nice and creamy and thick. And then what I did was I took some chipotles, which are basically these smoked dried jalapenos that they repurposed and this adobo sauce, it's vinegary and delicious. Smoky, you throw it in there, add some lime juice, salt, blend that up, and then you have this amazing mayo. That Guy Fieri's so favorite, better. the chipotle, chipotle mayo, but obviously you can repurpose that base for any type of mayo you want. Just a delicious, delicious Guy condiment. Fieri, I like you. We've got the fresh mango hot sauce. <laughs> One of my favorites. A nice combination of fresh and cooked ingredients, but all you have to do is start out with chopping up your ingredients. We got onions, we've got jalapenos, we've got garlic, we've got mm. tomatoes, we've got mango, Can and I we've got a... cilantro. Hallelujah. Take your pan, sprinkle in a little bit of oil. You gotta sprinkle the oil, sprinkle it's the best the way to go. Sprinkle it up. Toss in your onions, your jalapenos, and your garlic, and you're just looking to get some nice color on those. Really soften those babies up. Take a blender and add your fresh ingredients, so your tomato, your mango, and your cilantro. Add a little bit of lime, and then add on top your cooked ingredients. Mm. Hit that with a little bit of salt and pepper and just blend the living hell out of that. Look how creamy it is getting. I tasted it right here, it was great spice, but I feel like it was just missing that tanginess. All hot sauces have a nice base of vinegar. They love the vinegar. They love they the, vinegar. the vinegar. You'd be very surprised. Hallelujah. You'd be Praise very the Lord. surprised. So just add a good amount of vinegar, probably more than you think, and you're gonna get that really mm. saucy taste, that, that hot sauce taste right there. So good, fresh, cooked, delicious on anything. It's got the sweetness from the mango. You're in for a tasty hot sauce. Now, if you've seen any of our videos, you probably noticed that at least 600 of them have some sort of barbecue sauce whenever I'm cooking because I love barbecue this sauce. This guy will barbecue not sauce. stop making You can't barbecue contain the barbecue sauces. sauce. You cannot contain it. He's doing five star meals and then he just sprinkles barbecue yeah. sauce on everything. I don't you, get it. The thing about barbecue sauce is it literally can be anything. Like it just means sauce that goes on barbecue, right? So it can be vinegary, sweet, salty. It just needs to be delicious and it needs to be sort of and unidentified. And it's usually pantry items. Everything that went in here, I guarantee you guys have stored back in yeah, your pantry Yeah, it's all somewhere. stuff that like basically never goes bad. Yeah, never pretty much. So you can be in the apocalypse, be making barbecue sauce forever. <laughs> I took some ketchup, squeezed that into a pan, medium heat. I added some mustard, any mustard will do. Apple cider vinegar, incredible, brown sugar. Then I took my spices, a little cayenne, paprika, and garlic powder, hit it with some salt and pepper. And then you basically, you just bring that to the boil ski, and then you're just letting it chill for a few minutes. And then you've got this amazing barbecue sauce that you put on ribs, you put on burgers, you put on nuggets. You can even put it on salad. If you love barbecue, but you're trying to cut down on weight, put some barbecue That's sauce on salad. Only food. this guy, only this guy would put barbecue sauce on his salad. I don't get it. 
the cilantro cream. If you've seen any of our videos, you've probably noticed we make a lot of Mexican food. And when you're making Mexican food, it's really great to balance a cream sauce with something spicy. We've got a lot of hot sauces, so we balance that with some sort of delicious cream sauce. In this case, the cilantro crema. Yeah, this is what got us through so many jobs. Yeah. Mex I mean, that, they don't necessarily make it in Mexico, but like for us, we would do all these Mexican parties where we'd be doing tacos. We call it a crema when it's a fancy party because it sounds fancier, yeah, but it's really crema. easy to make. So what you're gonna do is add a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of garlic, and just the taste of the spicy jalapeno. Add a little bit of lime juice, maybe half a lime and some oil. Start blending that up. And then what I did was added half the sour cream. And at this point, you do not want to add all the sour cream because it starts to get very watery. So save the second half. Hit that with a little bit of salt and pepper and just take that out. And now we're going to mix in the second half of the sour cream. And you'll see it's going to start getting a lot thicker and a lot creamier. And that's what you want. It's going to really balance out the flavors. Finish it off with whatever seasoning you want, and you've got a delicious cream sauce to go on top of tacos, enchiladas, yeah. then you can get your or cilantro really just fix without having to worry about keeping the cilantro fresh and stuff. Everyone that hates cilantro, they'll taste this sauce and <laughs> they'll magically like cilantro. So you just have to be able to slip it in and not give it to them in the raw form. Yeah, that didn't sound right. <laughs> 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 All right, so next, uh, this is another favorite sauce. Someone recently asked me about doing a ranch, and there's two sauces that are exactly the same, in, but in New York they're called different things. Ranch dressing is one, which I ate in college pretty much on everything, and then the famous street meat white mm. sauce, which if you come to New York and you try the street meat, like the halal food, they're gonna give you the white sauce. I think they're the same thing. All you do is you take some mayo, and in this case I'm doing it right in the jar because I had a little bit of mayo left, I didn't want to just get it out of the jar and add all kinds of Jesus other cups technique. and bowls and stuff and have to be cleaning up a lot of stuff. Then I added a little bit of white vinegar, added some dried herb, a little parsley. Then I took some garlic powder, put that in there, a little salt, pepper, water. Water is a weird but key ingredient. It kind of gives you a little bit of a thinness. It balances out the mayo the it balances out the mayo somehow. So then you just <laughs> Do kinda, that one more time. <laughs> balances out the mayo. Somehow it balances out the mayo. Mix that all together, you can shake it up and then you end up with this incredible zesty yeah. Ranch dressing. We're just gonna, gonna call it the to... white sauce because that's what it is. Yeah. It's the ultimate white sauce. Yeah, but if you're looking for ranch dressing, try that. You'd be like, shit, I just made ranch dressing. Shit, so easy. Back in the old college days, I watched a lot of Tyler Florence. He taught me a lot of good things, and one sauce that always stuck with me was this herb honey citrus he made, or maybe that's just what I converted it into. But I used it on everything up until this moment. It's so simple to make. I used to put it on. That was his. That was his go-to. Just shake it's it great because it's a marinade. It's a sauce. It's a dressing. It's an all-purpose sauce. Really easy to make. So we're gonna take a blender and we're gonna throw in some herbs. I love cilantro and mint. That combination is really fresh. Then I squeeze in some lime juice. Mm -hmm. Probably two Tense limes is a nice balance. Then you hit that with honey, so you're balancing all of these delicious flavors. Start blending that up. Get that nice and blended, nice and fine, and then we're just gonna start emulsifying in oil like it's a dressing. <laughs> I used olive oil. It's gonna start getting very creamy, as you can see right here. Hit that with a little bit of salt and pepper, and look at that. You have mm. such an amazing sauce. I marinate shrimp and chicken in that, or I just use it as a dressing. Honey citrus so chicken is a good one. delicious. I'll drink it for breakfast. So this is a dressing that you've probably gotten, but you didn't know how they made it. Because when you go to a Japanese place and you get like the house salad, they're always doing that sort of carrot ginger miso dressing. It always comes in everything. It's always amazing, but for years I just assumed they couldn't make it. Don't buy it from them, make it at home. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think I could make it. So I started fooling around and you figured out it's actually pretty dang easy. It just takes a blender and a couple ingredients. All I did was I took some carrots, sliced the carrots up a little bit, sliced a little bit of ginger, took some scallywag scallions, took some lime and some miso and some rice vinegar and some sesame oil. I just put them all into a blender and blend it up. I like leaving this one chunky, but I kind of, you could blend yeah. it smooth, but I feel like it always has a little bit of texture any, in it. Any of these sauces, you can add water if you want it a little, a little thinner. Like that would be great with yeah. a little more oil oh, in it, but 
This is delicious. It's funny how the Japanese restaurants at some point they were like, oh, we can make a lot of money off these Americans by selling this sauce. Selling the sauce, but make it yourself. Add a, so little good. Bit of salt, add a little bit of salt in there too, but... That will last you a while. That's gr that's a great refreshing salad thing. And it's all good stuff. It's like carrots and ginger and all good shit for you. If there was one sauce that people seem to go crazy for, they're like, what the hell is that? It's a peanut sauce. You sneak in peanut butter, people freak the Unless they the have peanut out. allergies, then they freak out for another reason. <laughs> then, yeah, then you want to avoid all of that. We're going to start off with just some nice, smooth peanut butter. Hit it with a little bit of soy sauce. Add some raw garlic. And then a little bit of cilantro. We're going to hit it with some coconut milk, which just rounds out the flavors, makes it a little more creamy. A little bit of lime. Of course, the lime is nice. It adds that tangy bite you need. So I blend that up all in one shot, tasted it, and I said, you know what? I like the flavors, but I think it could use some honey that's just going to really bring it together. So I hit it with a little bit of honey. And boy, that is another all-purpose sauce. So good. Honey. Dressing, good on meat, whatever you want. Woo! Oh my god. All right, final one. The sweet chili sauce. If you go over to Australia, they don't have ketchup at their diners. They have got the sweet chili because they are brilliant. At least that's what they tell me. It's basically like one of the best sauces. It's been yeah. slipping in everywhere. A lot of times now you're seeing it at like restaurants are trying to be all fancy. But it's also so simple to make. All you do is you take some chilies. I got these pickled red chilies, but you can use jalapenos or red chili, whatever you got. And you take a bunch of garlic. And then you take a little bit of white vinegar, some white sugar, and you just kind of blend that up. And once that's blended up, you put that into a pan and you add some water and you add a bunch more vinegar and then even some more sugar. And just kind of mix that together and heat it up till it comes to a boil. While it's coming to a boil, you make what is called a cornstarch slurry. And this is so simple. It's like a scary thing that's simple. They use it in Chinese cooking all the time. Take a little, like take two tablespoons of cornstarch and slowly add water until it's like just thin enough to mix, but still as thick as possible, right? Then as that comes to a boil, this mixture, you pour that in there and you just basically kind of mix it and mix it and mix it around. What the slurry does is it thickens up the sauce. So then once you zip that sauce, you're left with this like really delicious, thick, sort of shiny sauce. It's spicy and mm. garlicky, but it's got the sweet vinegarness in it. Mm. This is a great dipping sauce, great for salads, great for everything. Now, usually if you look in one of our fridges, we're gonna have at least two of these sauces lying around. It's gonna make Easily your life- five. Yeah, like Josh five, five maybe sauce. I have two. It's gonna make your life so much better because you can take out anything from your fridge, anything that's, you know, leftover, whatever it is, some sort of meat, rice, squeeze on a sauce and all of a sudden you've got a flavor blast from the gods. Yeah, you zip it and you make your food fun and people think your food's amazing. Cause you get, when you go to a restaurant and there's a good sauce there, you're going back. Cause you're, that's the sauce that you're like, I'm addicted yeah. to that spicy sauce. I don't know how they made it. But that's the thing that's keeping you coming back. Cause even if like the chef cooks the food over a little bit too much, you still got the sauce. You love the sauce. Make the sauces, give these a try. More videos to come. Subscribe to this whole channel experience. Like the video below, comment in, be an asshole, be nice, whatever. Offend someone, love someone, it's all good.